we did. We did get a little bit of politics in uh, Carolyn's RV Life's latest video here. She's in Riverton, Wyoming, I believe. W Y. Yeah. Duh. And uh, anyway, so uh, she says, you know, um, she was in uh, she was in a uh, health food store there, and the lady just went off. The cash cash cashier lady who owns the store just went off about how the new president that's coming in is gonna force her store to close with, you know, use the S word. I won't, you know, you know, get, use the S word. And, and, and then, of course, Carolyn uh, defended herself. She didn't, she didn't want to. She said she was really not, not in the mood to uh, talk politics, but she kind of said, you know, it's, uh, you know, you got to worry more about those Walmarts and Costco's moving in for your business than, you know, what the government's going to do. I don't know. We won't get into it at pol politics because we don't do that here on the channel. But, um, so anyway, but, and then she said, you know, go check out her other channel. She has another channel now where she talks politics. But, you know, it does kind of occasionally seep in to her uh, latest stuff here. But anyway, good video here from Carolyn. Uh, you know, she does, she is out traveling. She's doing some stuff. And uh, she has some, oh dear, transmission trouble. Ding, 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 clickbait. Uh, you know, she is, um, well, the little overdrive light came on, blinking red, and her, her transmission, I think she said, was kind of overheating because she had the cruise control on a lot. I don't know. A anyway, um, they, they checked it out and everything's okay. So, yeah, a little, a little glitch there in her transmission. But she says she's, you know, as she should be, a little bit... You know, concerned when you get those warning lights on the dash that could refer to the transmission. Because you don't want to let that go. And then, you know, then you got a, a big repair bill, you know. So anyway. So anyway, she is uh, continuing her journeys through small town Wyoming. And, uh, you know, dealing dealing with the real people and their concerns. She also says uh, that a lot of the mask thing is a big deal for her. She says uh, she tries to wear her mask everywhere she goes, unless, of course, she's, you know, walking around where there's nobody else around. And she said in a lot of these Wyoming towns, and then you go into a store and nobody's wearing a mask. And she always wears her mask on. And she said there's some sort of, like, peer pressure going on. You know, hey, I'm not wearing a mask. Why are you? You know, she gets that feeling. And I, and I could understand, you know, she probably, if she went to Quartzsite right now, she'd probably get a lot of that feeling right now, you know, because we see very, very few people in all these videos from Quartzsite wearing masks, you know. I'm just saying, you know, there, there, you, there is kind of a, mm, you know, mm, it, it's almost a political statement whether you're wearing, wearing your mask or not, you know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just saying what she's saying. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Just here for Frank, Trenton Alley there. That's a, uh, I guess, some new merch they got. <laughs> They're taking a break. You know, these YouTubers, if they don't put out that constant content on the uh, scheduled days they're supposed to, every day, every other day, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, whatever their schedule is, people really get upset. Like, are you all right? Is there something wrong? Oh, you missed a day. It's Christmas. Do You missed Christmas. You should have posted on a Friday. Well... <laughs> Are you okay? We're worried about you. I get the same thing here. I mean, if you know, I'd usually post around eight something in the morning on on each weekday, and if I'm late, if I'm nine thirty or quarter of ten, I get emails. Where are? Where's your video today? Is everything all right? Of course, what would a Trenton Alley video be without a little uh, hawking a product? Policy genius. Policy genius. If you need life insurance. Check out Trenton Alley. They got the policy for you. Wait, the new house up in the uh, Utah mountains is coming along just dandy. Look at that. It's uh, you know, quite a ways to completion there. Doing a good job there anyway. Trenton Alley, busy building their, their uh, I, I wouldn't say little cottage. It's a fairly substantially sized house. It looks gorgeous there, yeah. Oh yeah, you know, they're doing it right, you know? We get a nice little uh, talk here at the end from uh, Trent, who actually was nominated in quite a few of the Cami Awards, so... Uh, but he didn't actually win any category, but he was he was nominated. Anyway, he says, it, you know, 2020 was everything. Everything all mixed up. Horrible, wonderful, good, bad, you know, some of the some horrible stuff. You know, they had to cancel their, their trip down there to Patagonia and... and, and uh, and, and uh, Argentina, and they had to make a mad dash back to the States, and all the worries about the V, 
and all that crazy stuff and you know leave abandoning their van there which they just got back kind of uh, disheveled uh, but at the same time some great things he got married that's right who'd he marry Who, who'd he marry oh Allie he married Allie so he married Allie and uh, then they're building this dream house and uh, he said it's been a really awful year at the same time it's been a good year so you know that's good year the blip no I'm, I'm doing an, I'm doing a police squad joke never mind um it's been a, you know it, and that's life right good and bad all mixed together and certainly 2020 was one of those years all right we got a new one from avian awesome his friend there up in montreal she's trying to get down to the states 221 days they were separated, but now the obstacles are coming down and they're going to get back together again. Avian Awesome, so, <clears throat> I guess, you know, I guess you know a friend, right? So, so, she's in Montreal, but you can't just drive across the border anymore, so she has to park and uh, take a, a plane over the border, and then somebody's transportation company that she hired is going to uh, transport <clears throat> her uh, school bus, schoolie over or actually, it looks like a school. It's a schoolie, isn't it? It's a schoolie, right? It's a schoolie. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, she's uh, it's a it's a yellow schoolie, right? So she's coming over the border, and uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, and uh, does she make it? Does she make it? Does she make it? Uh, yes, she does. They are. They made it. Actually, those were pictures of previous encounters. But uh, th now this is her actually arriving down there in uh, FLA. I think that's where that is. Yeah, those were pre those were the you know, previous stuff. So anyway, she makes it. She does make it. And there she is in the dark, arriving from Montreal, across the border. Oh yeah! All right, LJMJ uh, Let's Talk More Journey uh, travels up north to uh, pick up their beautiful new uh, fifth wheel, beautiful luxury fifth wheel. And uh, Nate's a little nervous because this is the first time they're going to be towing the new vehicle. And, you know, he just, he keeps saying, I hope I don't break it. I hope I don't break it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there, there he is. He's pretty happy. Pretty happy. Nice vehicle. Drive south, I think, to Cincinnati. Should have hung out with uh, Michael Nippert there. You know, maybe he would have, uh, he would have taken him over to Frisch's Big Boy for a burger. <laughs> Anyway, they they do they do make it. They do get down to the you know down to Southern Ohio there, and uh, so everything works out okay for uh, Less Chuck More Journey. And these are their they actually he calls these the trash bags they sleep in. They actually have these like sleeping bags that look like trash bags. And I don't know, man, you don't want to be sleeping out by the street or the trash guy's gonna pick you up and throw you in the back of a truck. I don't know, man. So anyway, they make it. They do make it. I, I shouldn't give it away. You know, you gotta watch this. Go, oh, ah, excuse me. Go watch this to see if they make it. But uh, this is obviously Cookville, Tennessee. They do make it back to home base with the beautiful new fifth wheel. So I, I, I spoiled it for you, but he, they already got 47,000 views. So, uh, yeah. so they did make it. So good for them. Brand new vehicle. Hopefully they'll keep this for a couple months before they trade it in on something new. Because it seems like they're trading in things every couple months. You know. Let's see. What, what do you think? Will uh, Nate and Marissa keep this vehicle till the end of 2021? Or will they find something else they want before then? I, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet on it. One from Enjoy the Journey Life. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, how to find free, how to find, how to find free overnight parking, uh, you know, but, you know, maybe they need to do an update for all the latest, uh, news about, you know, free park, yeah, I know, whatever. Van City Van Life checks out with a, with a buddy on the road there, a female buddy who is, uh, she built a home in this van with free materials. Wow, a lot of free stuff today, yeah. I've been checking out some Lex and Riot, what it is really like to be a digital nomad in America. Very good video from Lex and Riot. Check that out. Oh, you got part two for Wayward Wags here on their big RV leak. They had a leak the other day on the slide. You know, they got a nice fancy RV with the big slides on the side. Anyway, they've been noticing water coming in, and uh, so they take it to get repaired, and luckily, the damage isn't as bad as they thought, okay? So it, it's not, you know, it's, yeah, there is some mold there. There's some rotted wood and stuff. But it's, you know, they, they, were, they were fearing things would be a lot worse. 
They were worried that they might have to replace some more flooring inside the unit, uh, but no, it was just basically what was in the slide and the carpeting in the slide. So, you know, the water came in, but it wasn't as bad as they thought. So that's good news for Wayward Wag. Another stunning video from Bex the Cat Herder. If you like ex superb photography, man, she really knocks it out of the park in this one. Uh, Arches National Park in uh, beautiful Utah. You know, uh, wow. Wow. Great video here. Just have to shout it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you uh, what do you say? I mean, wow. Now, if you're going to aim the camera outside the front of your vehicle as you're driving by, and you've got scenery like this, go ahead and do it. You know, some of these nomads, you know, they just uh, do that, and it's just ordinary whatever. So uh, anyway, there's her. We got to get a nice shot of the casita there. Yes. So. Uh, Good and excellent video. Check her out. Bex Cat Herder. Chili cheese mashed potatoes. And anyway, <clears throat> I'm not really into a lot of these cooking segments, but uh, what hurt with that bass stuff she cooked up the other day with the uh, seasoning on it? Man, that looked good anyway. All right. Look where he is. Do you see a lot of people breathing on him? No, you don't. What a good place to be in this day and age of the V, right? According to Cheap RV Living Bob, nomads are the future. Being a nomad is your best hope to being prepared for the worst with nomadic living. That's right. Get out. Get away from all those other breathers. Get away from the breathers, <coughs> the coughers, uh, the, crowded, uh, the crowded whatevers. Go out to nature. Yeah. Anyway, good... An interesting video. I'll say it's a good video. You know, Bob knows what he's talking about. Anyway, check it out. Cheap RV living Bob, the salesman for the new nomadic life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Jeb Brooks. He does uh, he does a lot of uh, traveling. Let's just say he's a traveler, mainly in airplanes, but he's taken the Amtrak all the way from Washington D.C. to Los Angeles. It's a couple of days. I you know and. Uh, Anyway, he, his recommendation is when you do this, if you're going to do this, bring along three things. Bring along a power strip because there aren't enough electrical outlets to charge all your devices. Bring along a pillow because the Amtrak pillow is really S-U-C-K, almost as bad as the meatballs and the pasta concoction you get. He said the meatballs are pretty awful. And bring along some prunes because you're probably going to get constipated because there's not enough fiber in all the microwave meals they're giving you here on the uh, trip. So power strip, the three P's, power strip, pillow, and prunes. If you're going to be taking a Amtrak across the country, Jeb Brooks, great channel there. He is from North Carolina, I believe, isn't he? I think so. We think he's in Greensboro or something. But he has a lot of good videos on uh, traveling around the world, mainly in airplanes, but uh, sometimes in trains. Someone from uh, Valeria in different Russia, they're continuing to build out the dacha. Her husband, I believe that's Alex. I believe that's her husband. She's always with him, so it's Alex. His father uh, is now, uh, had quarantine for COVID. He didn't have COVID. He had a friend that had it, so he is uh, fine now and is back at work on the dacha. Got a new one from Noel Phillips. He's also a, um, he's also a, uh, uh, airplane guy, British dude. He has a very interesting segment in this Flying to Kilimanjaro with the Air Kenya video where he talks about uh, YouTube trolls and how he says this past year he has been trolled by many people and he's really mad about it. But, you know, they, you know, fed by the trolls. You know, you do more, the more trolls you have, the more viewers you have, right? I think part of it has to do with the fact that he's been doing a lot. He was especially doing a lot of traveling during the early days of the pandemic. Uh, he's kind of just wanted to keep traveling. A lot of these airplane channels weren't doing that because, you know, hey, you know, there weren't, there, you know, you weren't supposed to. And he was, he still was doing it. And I think he got a lot of uh, angry people on his channel. But he said, uh, so far, so good. Plus, he's got a wife with some health issues, and everybody was saying he was putting her at risk. I don't know. So anyway, that was what was going on there. So anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. What else do we have here? Uh, these are not nomadic videos, but they're interesting. Check it out, the infographics show. Uh, this is very interesting about that uh, nasty guy in the San Francisco area who's um, been doing all these nasty stuff. Uh, I, I can't say these words because the bot will... Uh, demonetize me so but anyway this is an excellent video this is also a good video real life lore how do we keep track of time on mars you know here on the 
planet Earth, you know, we have, you know, 365 days a year and it takes 24 hours to spin the planet around. So, you know, but things are a little different on Mars, you know, years and daylight, day lengths are different. So how do you keep track of time on Mars? Pretty soon we're going to have uh, people on Mars, you know, and they're going to have, uh, you know, 25 hour days and, and years that go for 700 days. I don't know. I'm not going to have to worry about that, but maybe if you're young enough, you may end up living on Mars and you might have to think about it. So good video. All right, everybody, that ought to do it for today. It is Monday, the 28th of December. Only a few more days in this crazy year left. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that ought to do it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be sending out Cami Awards to David. Uh, Dave's RV Life, because he requested one, because he's a winner. And somebody sent me a couple bucks to send a uh, a uh, Cami Award to Miss Wonder Hussy Sarah. So, because she also won in a couple awards, so I will be doing that. Sarah, if you're watching Wonder Hussy, um, someone someone paid to have you uh, get your award. So, I will be doing that. If you're a win, if any other winners of the awards that we announced last week, uh, if you want your camis, we still have about five or six of them left. The actual little statue. So let me know. And uh, but I got to know by the end. I got to know by the end of the year, right? Uh, right. Uh, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great Monday, and get ready for a big New Year's celebration coming up here on the Camo Dave channel. Thanks for watching. Vlog under. <laughs>